What is up guys in today's video we will see how we can implement this sliding up panel in Android. You can also observe that the text fades away as we pull the slider up and when the slider is completely up then you can see a toast message which says panel expanded and when we close this slider then you can see a text which says panel closed. And in the end of this video I will also show you how you can make this slider slide from top to bottom. So let's dive into the code. Go to build.gradle file and add the dependency of this sliding up panel. I'll put this text in the description box so you can copy it from there. Now hit sync now. Now go to activity main.xml file and replace the root element with sliding up panel layout. Now this sliding up panel layout expects two children inside it. The first will be the main layout and the second child will be the sliding up panel. So add a relative layout, set width and height to match parent. Inside this relative layout add an image view, set width and height to match parent. Set image source to IC launcher background. And add one more image view, set width and height to match parent. Image source will be IC launcher foreground. Now add one more relative layout. This will be our sliding up layout, set width and height to match parent, add a text view, set width and height to match parent, set text to a cool slider, set gravity to center and top, give this an ID, text view. Now set the gravity of the sliding up panel layout to bottom. This will put the slider layout to the bottom of the screen, give the sliding up panel layout an ID sliding up. Now go to mainactivity.java file and have a reference to the sliding up panel layout. Add a panel listener for this. The on panel slide method is called when the slider is sliding. Inside this function we will set the fading of our text view. So let's find our text view by id and apply new alpha to this text view. And alpha will be 1 minus slide offset. This slide offset value tells us how much our sliding up panel has been slided up. So if the value is 1 then it means that our sliding up panel is uh, completely slided up and if the value is 0 then it means that our sliding up panel is collapsed. Inside the on panel state changed method we will show the toast message. If our new state equals sliding up panel layout dot panel state expanded then we will show a toast message which will say panel expanded and if our state is collapsed then we will show a toast message which will say panel collapsed try sliding the panel up you can see the text view fades away and you see the toast message which says panel expanded now let's see how we can make this sliding up panel slide from top to bottom Go to activity main.xml file and change the gravity of uh, this sliding up panel layout to top and set the gravity of this text view to center and bottom. Now run and test this and now you can slide the slider from top to bottom. Okay so that's it for today's video. If you like this video then give this video a like and subscribe to the channel.